very special thank you to Stephen for a beautiful book. On midwinter eve, when an icy wind blew, the moon weaved her magic and wishes came true. Mickey A long time ago and very far away there was a place that was always cold and dark. Nothing grew in this icy world. I wish we could find just a little tree, said Miki to Penguin. At once a little tree sprang up in front of them. But the tree looked lonely and bare. Miki and Penguin took it home. I wish we had some pretty lights to cheer it up, said Miki. A string of fairy lights suddenly appeared. Miki draped them over the little tree. If only... We can make them twinkle, she said. <laughs> the very next moment, a twinkle machine appeared. Penguin climbed aboard and pedaled faster and faster. The little lights began to glitter, throwing sparkly beams over the snow. But soon Penguin's feet were tired and sore. The pretty lights faded. We need someone stronger, he sighed. <laughs> Mickey and Penguin jumped. Polar Bear appeared from nowhere. He was the strongest creature in the land, and beside him was a windmill. Polar Bear huffed and puffed, and the little lights shone bright. But even the strongest creature can run out of breath. Soon the three friends were in darkness again. I wish, said Miki as she fished for supper, I could catch a star. A star would shine forever. All of a sudden there was a big tug on her rod. And Miki was gone. Help! called Penguin. Polar Bear looked into the fishing hole. Miki was nowhere to be seen. But deep down, but down in the deep blue ocean, Miki was safe in the magic of midwinter eve. A gentle giant was taking her on a journey. She gazed with awe at the strange, wonderful creatures. There were sea urchins, eels, and jellyfish. Oh dear, cried Miki, but he only wanted to show them the way. He waved his tingly, tangly tentacles. We're here, said the narwhal. Miki dreamily floated down until she reached the ocean floor. Back on the ice, Polar Bear bravely decided to dive down to search for Miki. Down, down he went. But there was no sign of his little friend. On the ocean floor, Miki had fallen asleep, safely snuggled inside a sea flower. She was awoken by a gentle tickle. A tiny octopus danced in front of her. Come with me, he said. Miki parted the petals. A wonderful sight met her eyes. In front of her 
three hundred twinkling stars. Back on the ice, Polar Bear popped back through the hole. No sign of her, he sighed. I wish I could dive down, said Penguin. At once, Penguin found himself dressed in a little penguin diving suit. Lower me down, Polar Bear, he cried. Down he went. All the time he looked about him, calling out for his friend, but his voice was too small to be heard. Penguin had never been so deep in the sea before. The watery world was full of strange and fearsome creatures. Pull me up, polar bear, he cried. Polar bear hauled him up just in time. No sign of her, said Penguin sadly, but we must never give up. At the bottom of the ocean, the magic was wearing thin. Miki knew it was time to go home. The tiny octopus took her to his mother. Polar bear was just getting ready to search again when there was a rumble, a splinter and a crack. The little fishing hole was opening up. Bigger and bigger, the ice started to move beneath their feet. The ground heaved and shattered. And the biggest creature the friends had ever seen shot out of the fishing hole. There, nestled safely in its long arms, was Miki. Just in time, for it was nearly midnight, and the magic was running out. And in Miki's pocket was a sparkling star, a star that would shine forever. On midwinter eve, when the icy wind blew, the moon weaved her magic and wishes came true. The little star shone for all it was worth and spread midwinter light all over the earth. Thank you so much for listening. Head on over to Sebastian's Action Trust and show them some light. Thank you.